hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel it's a girl fanny lungu back with another reaction video so today i'm going to be reacting to shocking truth prophet muhammad mentioned in the bible mind-blowing so without wasting time let's get into the video I have read the Bible through many, many, many times. And others such as I have read it many more times, much more educated than I could ever be, understanding both Hebrew and Greek. Uh, Mohammed is not mentioned in the Old Testament. With this countless number of reading, the man doesn't see it. How can that be? I said, you see, what has happened is this. First, that Muhammad is mentioned by name in the original scriptures. The Old Testament, according to Christian authorities, was preserved in the Hebrew language. And the New Testament in Greek scriptures, Greek language. In the Old Testament, in the Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16, in the Hebrew language, it reads, Hikko mamittakim vi kullo muhammadim zehdudi vi zehrei bainat Yerushalam. Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16. The word muhammadim is muhammad im im i am im. Im is a plural of respect in Hebrew. You see the first verse of the Bible, book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 1. It says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The word God in Hebrew there is Elohim. In Hebrew, Ella stands for God. Elohim is a plural form to say with all respect and reverence. Plural of respect. In all Eastern languages, including Arabic and Hebrew. There are two types of plurals. Plural of respect as well as numbers. In the Quran also we find the very same thing. Like the verse Allah says, Inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa inna lahu lahafizun. That it is for us to send down the revelation and it is for us to protect it. Who is this us? Ask any Muslim. Who is this us? Is Allah Jibreel and Muhammad, like Father, Son, and Holy Ghost? No. But is as who is us? When we are told in the Holy Quran, Qul Allahu Ahad, say He is Allah, the one and only. Here is talking about as. No Arab Christian has ever asked the Muslim. I said the Arab Christian has ever asked the Muslim, who is this as? Because he knows in his language, there are two types of plurals. Plural of numbers and plural of respect. This as is like in royal proclamations, you have plural of respect. We have decreed, says the queen. We. Who is this we? Not she and her husband and her, her son. No, no, no. It's standing for herself. Out of respect. Plural. So Elohim is a plural of respect. Im. El is God. Ella is God. Elohim is more than one of respect. Ask any Jew. This is his book. Ask him what is his Im. He said, look, in my language, this is a plural of respect. God is one, but out of respect, we speak like that. Im. It says Muhammad Im. Muhammad Im. Plural of respect. Song of Solomon, 
chapter 5 verse 16. Yes, the name Muhammad does show up. It does say Muhammadim, but the name Muhammad is very plainly in the text. The word is there in the Hebrew language. In the original, what they call original, it's there. But they have translated that in English as altogether lovely. So this beloved of mine is altogether lovely. When you read altogether lovely, you can't associate with the word Muhammad. You read it a thousand times, altogether lovely, altogether lovely. Or let's say in another language, the praised one, the praised one. Muhammad means the praised one. But he said the praised one, the praised one. You can't think that he's talking about Muhammad. Though Muhammad means the praised one. You have no right to translate names of people. Anybody. Your name should be retained. Mr. Black is Mr. Black. Though he's white, you have no right to translate names of people. But they have been doing that. Muhammad Im, they translated as altogether lovely. But the word Muhammad is there in the Hebrew language in the origin. So we said, look, you have lost the name Jesus Christ, according to the Holy Quran, says, Wa is qala Isa ibn Maryam. It says, Behold, Jesus, the son of Mary, said, Ya Bani Israel, O children of Israel, Inni Rasulullah ilaykum. So most certainly, I am the messenger of God sent to you all. Musaddiqan lima bayna yadayya min al-tawrati. Confirming the revelation which came before me. Wa mubashiran bi rasulin ya'ti min ba'di ismuhu Ahmad. And giving you glad tidings of a messenger to come after me whose name shall be Ahmad which is another name for Muhammad Muhammad and Ahmad are synonymous terms for this mighty messenger of God Ahmad that is what the Quran tells us but Christian says look it's not, it's not in my book it's not here there's no Ahmad and there's no Muhammad so you are left with no alternative but to analyze what is there. You see, they have a verses in the Bible, in the Gospel of St. John, chapter 16, where it says, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, Jesus says. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I go, I will send him. And when he is come, he will convict the world in respect of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Of sin because they believe not in me and on and on. He says, if I don't go, the comforter will not come unto you. We say that comforter is Muhammad. The same chapter, he says, I have yet many things to say unto you. But you cannot bear them. Nah, you haven't got that capacity. How be it? When he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. Spirit of truth. Who is the spirit of truth? Ask the Christian. Is the Holy Ghost. How be it? When he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak from himself, but what things so shall he hear, that shall he speak. And he shall declare unto you the things that are to come. He shall glorify me. So who is the spirit of truth? They said the Holy Ghost. I said, all right, if this is the Holy Ghost, tell us now, what new things has he given you in the past 2,000 years? He said, Jesus said, I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. But before we expound this aspect, let me reread to you this verse with a little emphasis on the pronouns. He says, I have yet many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them. Nah. How be it? When he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak from himself, 
But what things so shall he hear, that shall he speak, and he shall declare unto you the things that are to come. He shall glorify me. Eight masculine pronouns. I say, it ill befits a ghost. You agree? That is a man, a man, a man, a man. Eight times. There is not another verse in the whole Bible with eight masculine pronouns or eight feminine gender or eight neuter genders. There isn't. This is a unique verse for a unique personality, Muhammad. Man, 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 not a ghost, not a spook. But we are told he's a spirit. Is Muhammad a spirit? I say yes. That's what your Bible says. You see, every time the word spirit is used in your Bible, I'm telling the Christian, it doesn't stand for the Holy Ghost. Because in the book of Revelation, the last book of the Bible, it, we are told that seven spirits of God went out into the world. I say, you believe in seven Holy Ghosts? He says, no, there's only one Holy Ghost. I said, look, it's a seven spirits. It means should be seven Holy Ghosts. No, spirit doesn't stand for Holy Ghost every time. Then in the same John, the same John, in the first epistle of John, he says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. False prophet is a false spirit. True prophet is a true spirit. The same John is using spirit for a prophet. Don't believe every spirit. Don't believe in every prophet. Saint John, in the gospel of Saint John, he says, he says, he that is born of spirit is spirit, and he that is born of the flesh is flesh. So do spirits beget? Do they prohibit? He says, no. Then how can you be born of spirit? No. Then what it means there is that who is spiritually inclined is spiritual, who is materialistically inclined is flesh. What brought you here tonight? Some kind of gift that you're expecting from D Dad? You know, he's going to give you some sweet meat. What? Some chocolate? Is that what brought you here? If that was the case, and suppose I give it out to you, you are materialistically inclined. Material things brought you here. So you are a materialist. In the language of the Bible, you are fleshy, you are of the flesh. Materialist. If it was spiritual consideration, motivation that brought you here, then you are spiritual. The gospel language say so he that is born means a thing that motivates you that brings you up into being if it is preach spiritually then you are a spirit and if you are fleshly you are flesh material you are flesh <laughs> interesting i'd love to pick up on the point of changing people's name he's actually right you don't have to change the meaning of something if the name is there keep it there what are you so afraid of you understand why should i say why should i use a different word to replace maybe saying funny is happy and i just turn it into something else you're stealing knowledge from people you are keeping knowledge from people if something is there keep it there stop changing things to suit the narrative that you're going for to create a narrative that you think is right for the people let the people choose for themselves stop it you have people have to stop doing this at the end of the day it's like saying um I'm responsible for what I say, but what you understand is all up to you. For example, Didat has said what he said. Whether you believe or whether you don't, that still exists in Hebrew. 
So what you do with that information is up to you. To accept it, to not accept it, really up to you. It doesn't affect the next person. It's all in your hands. Let me know what you guys actually think. If there's anything you want me to react to, let me know by dropping the name or the link down below. And I'll be more than glad to react to it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next reaction video.